Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be teaching you the yo-yo trick orbital decay and this is what it looks like. Okay, to start this trick we're just going to wait, make sure that we have some neutral string tension This is going to help uh, with the slack portion of the trick. So this trick is a really cool kind of flashy element, kind of has this nice like rejection kind of thing that happens and it looks really cool and flashy. So it's, it's not too, too difficult to learn, so we're just going to be teaching you it in this video. So first things first, we're just going to want to throw a trapeze. And from this trapeze, we're going to want to do this kind of rolling movement like this, kind of like in uh, Skin the Gerbil, if you know that trick. But essentially, all that's happening is we are taking this, the yo-yo and swinging it between our throw hand arm, just like that. So, um, you know, you can kind of push your finger into it if you'd like. We just want to kind of use the momentum of the yo-yo to swing it and swing it between our arms like that okay so once we do this we're going to get back into a trapeze so if you do that and you get into like a kind of mount like looks like that you did it wrong you don't want to get into a mount like that you want to swing between your arms so that you're not getting that wrap but if you just do that then you're going to get a wrap so once we're here we should be right back into a trapeze now that first move is really just for the flow of the trick so the first kind of part is gonna look like that. So once we do this, we get back into our trapeze, we're gonna kind of point our fingers out and allow the string and the yo-yo to swing over our non-throw hand, just like that. And we want it to kind of go over the back of our hand rather than kind of just going over our finger. We want it to go over our whole hand, just like that. And so those two movements will be done in one and it'll look like this. Okay, so I will go over that one more time. We're gonna trapeze. We're gonna be swinging between our arms. So we're gonna swing the yo-yo just like this between our arm, we get back into a trapeze, and then swing the yo-yo over our non-throw hand just like that, and it'll get into a mount that looks like this. So it's gonna be in that one motion, get a ni that nice fluid motion, and it'll look just like that. Okay, so once we are in this portion of the trick, will be set up and it'll look something like this. Now you wanna take your three fingers that you have here on your non-throw hand and insert them into this string you have here. So they're gonna be on the outside, we wanna kinda of put them into the inside of the mount and that'll set us up for the rejection of this trick. So like I said, once we're here, we're gonna have our thumb right here with the string, we're gonna have our index finger and then we wanna take our non-throw hand, uh, these three fingers here and place them inside the mount like that. So rather than being outside, just place them right to the right of those strings on our throw hand index finger, not throw hand index finger. Okay, so once we've gotten our fingers uh, into the here and we're in this mount, what we want to do from here is to pop up the yo-yo just a little bit so that we are giving it a little bit of slack. And as we are popping the yo-yo up, we wanna take this uh, throw hand index finger and grab this string that is coming over our non throw hand thumb. So that's gonna look like that. And so what's gonna happen there is that the string is gonna reject and it is gonna start coming around the yo-yo. And so really, this is, comes down to timing. So we wanna be plucking with this, this finger right as it's in uh, kind of this free fall, right when it's in the air, and it'll look like that. So if you're not doing that, it's not really gonna be a great kind of rejection. And if it's not a great rejection, then you're not gonna be able to land the slack. So let's just really focus on plucking, and, and you wanna actually kind of pluck kind of hard. So the harder you pluck, the more force it's gonna have to whip around. So as we pop it up, just like this, kind of popping it up like that, take your throw hand index finger and pluck with that string. And you'll notice that it starts to come around. If it's not coming around, then you're probably doing something wrong. So again, I will show you again. So we're just plucking this string right here that is coming off of our non-throw hand thumb. We're gonna take it and go on the inside of that string, just like that, and kind of pull it off. So you can even practice it without hopping the yo up, where you simply just kind of pull that string back um, and so when you do it, you want to actually kind of pull it back and towards this way around the yo-yo So you're actually getting it to reject rather than pulling it back kind of towards uh, Towards the left where it's not going to be rejecting Okay, so once we have done that and we're, we are able to reject the string like that We need to learn how to actually go and catch the slack Okay, so what we want to do as the the slack is in the air is we want to actually be turning our non-throw hand over and so this is kind of a common thing that you'll see in other slack elements, kind of like this element right there, or even just, you know, a lot of slack elements do this kind of movement where you're turning your hand over. So as you pop it up, right when you get that rejection, our hands kind of be in this position where it's kind of vertical, 
we want to flip it over kind of like that so we're going to be vertical like this and we kind of want to go like that so we're turning our hand from here at this position to like that and that'll allow the slack to carry around so like i said we are fully allowing that hand to come around and a lot of what this trick comes down to is timing so we're going to pop it up pluck and turn over kind of all at the same time and that is what is going to get us to land the string so another thing that can happen is we want to make sure that we're keeping uh, the accuracy correct so you don't want to be aiming too far backwards just like that or you don't want to be aiming too far forwards like that so we want to make sure that 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 front string is going into the back half of the yo-yo and that will be what allows it to land so we want it to land into a mount that looks like this okay so it's going to look like that and, and then once we land here we'll just roll over our hand twice and you'll be in a place to bind all right so i'm going to go over the steps um, one more time and then we'll be on our way so we're going to throw a trapeze and then we're going to roll between our arms just like that and then we're going to roll over our non-throw hand just like that and then take these three fingers place them in to those strings and then we're going to pop up the yo-yo a little bit and pluck the string with our uh, throw hand index finger and create that rejection and once we create that rejection that is where we're going to want to flip our hand over and allow the slack to carry around to uh, land the slack into the gap of the yo-yo swing off twice then you'll be able to bind the io and that is the trick so as i like to talk about with kind of all these tricks i do is the flow of the trick so with this trick especially in this first element is really where the flow of the trick comes in so when we do this when we land into the trapeze we don't want to stop go like that and then go like that what we want to be doing is landing and going directly into that that fluid motion and it makes it look a lot better so to do that, we just wanna make sure that we're not pausing. And, and it really comes down to a lot of practice and being comfortable with these elements. So when you, you, when you land it, you're automatically already starting to swing it over. So rather than landing it and then swinging over, we're landing it and immediately swinging over. And then we're allowing that momentum that we're getting here to swing over our hand rather than swinging and stopping. We're gonna allow that momentum to carry over to land onto our, over our hand. And that'll make the trick just look a lot better. Now, once you get to the, the slack portion of the trick, it is gonna be a little bit harder to keep that flow going. You're gonna have to pause for a little bit, but just try to minimize the pause and that'll make it look better. Okay, so that is, I'm just gonna show you guys a few uh, slow-mos and then we will be on our way.